Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Sagittarius welcome back this is your romance reading for September 2020 and I'm using a new deck the Tarot of the Kingdoms by Paige Ozma Ashbourne or Ash Ashmore sorry there is a review out so if you would like to look at more of these cards because they're really unique and they're very very much like fairy ta fairy tales because it will take you to a mystical land and I see more and more in these cards the more I use them and I'm also using the Angel Romance Oracle deck and the TLC Tender Loving Care for the Soul the Answer of the Angels and the Truth Mirror of the Lenaman so keep an open mind my darling okay if you are not hooked up, then keep an open mind. You might want somebody totally different, and you meet and you walk against somebody, and wow, the butterflies hit your stomach, and you're smitten with love with somebody that is totally different to your ideals. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. Ooh, the cupid is out. So that is very nice for those that aren't um, hooked up and for those that are hooked up you could be meeting somebody else um, but it's up to you whether you're going to take that opportunity or not. Um, some of you might, some of you might not. Okay, um, I feel that there is a change in uh, in the air though, so perhaps your partner might just all of a sudden dye his hair, or she might dye her, uh, their hair, and uh, you didn't expect that happening. So yes, sh they are getting out of their comfort zone. They might just want something new, um, or get a new dress, or a new suit, or a new whatever as we have judgment and for some of you it might mean that you might have been separated with somebody and you do miss them and that there will be a reconciliation and you didn't expect that and because they've changed and all of a sudden um, they're uh, independent and they've done something cause to change and they still love you and they might come back and they're not what you expected that is how I read this card because we've got the judgment so that's a new beginning or it means a second chance something is coming round or they might even if even if you're hooked up this could also be a new beginning a second beginning you might even be thinking of getting married again just because you're happy with each other and you feel at ease with each other okay 
in some cases uh, it might be that somebody was wearing um, uh, it's like um, a sheep this is the girl she's the sheep and wearing a wolf's clothing that somebody is changing somebody is changing because they want a second chance you've got the judgment card they were out of balance and you've got 20 so they are back in balance or perhaps it was you they've got and I see lots of hands so perhaps they have seeked advice and helped from others to enlighten them and to change them so they don't have to be something that they don't want to be they can be themselves perhaps where they weren't being themselves and this card um, really I get a feeling perhaps they felt trapped or they like the devil they had an addiction and now they have adjusted and they want a second chance this is just something that I'm feeling sorry about that but this is also what I interpret the card as perhaps there were a lot of people uh, previously in uh, the relationship um, when you had a relationship with this person and they were minding their business your business with they were minding they weren't minding their own business because of the many hands perhaps a lot of people had opinions or judgment or judged the relationship and perhaps you've got together got help and now you can see clarity and for what they are really are perhaps uh, you wanted you had a uh, an ideal and uh, you didn't you give them the freedom to develop within the relationship and now they have um, done the treatment and gone out and got themselves sorted out and they want a second chance or you want a second chance with this person it's not for everybody this is a general reading remember so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign but there is a second chance if you want to reconcile if you've been split up from your partner but you also realize you have to love yourself first because if you love yourself then you can love another if you love yourself you feel good you're you feel good in your skin you are who you are and you've accepted that and you need time out perhaps it was you that felt that you were the wolf dressed or sheep dressed in a wolf's skin this could be that you mm, I see in this card that you might have acted differently to what you are because you felt you had to fit the picture from your partner and it could be vice versa so n you need to love yourself first and be your true self your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive you have to be genuine you have to be transparent and be what you want to be not what somebody else wants you to be remember that you've got strength so now you are you've worked on that and uh, you have been patient like this la lady she with her love and her patience and her instructions she has o won over one the lion in this case the leopard and their bond is inseparable so long you have patience respect for yourself and for the other and you know each other's boundaries then you can maintain being in your strength you're stronger than you realize you've got number eight here so perhaps you've got a new job perhaps you've so you're more independent eight is your powerhouse you are in your power and money perhaps you have your own money now so you feel that you have your own identity within this relationship that is what you can be yourself and that is what is important here be yourself that is what makes you unique and attractive to the other and if the other doesn't see that then 
That's it. That's their problem. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yes, don't be too serious. Be yourself, like I said. Let your inner child come out. Have passion. Have fun. If you love each other and you respect each other as boundaries as well, then it will be a lasting, nurturing relationship. It will, you are going forwards. Okay? You're leaving that behind. Look at it that they are looking that way and she's looking forwards to the Queen of Cups. And if you are meeting the Queen of Cups, which is Scorpio, don't exclude uh, Pisces or Cancer, um, then, wow, if you're not hooked up. And you could be hooked up with one of these signs. They are nurturing and caring. Take a leaf out of their own book so that you do love yourself and that you are more romantically and personally attracted to them. Take a page out of their own book, be more nurturing towards them, but don't be a, a servant or a backbone to anybody, because it won't make it last. You have to be able to stand on yourself in your own strength in a relationship. There has to be quality and equilibrium. Okay, so if you are hooked up, then get back into your own power. Don't cipher yourself away. Okay, beautiful. Be yourself. Otherwise, um, the little flame of love and passion will pitter away. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Like I said, take care of yourself. Make yourself attractive. Maintain the love for yourself and care. So, have a look. Is the flame dying out? Are you pittering away in quietness? Aren't you being honest and clear as to what your boundaries are? Do you know your boundaries? That is also the first step. You have to know your own boundaries to maintain staying in uh, your strength. So we've got the seven of water. What are you dreaming about? What are you longing for? So if you know your boundaries and you know your partner's boundaries, if you're hooked up and if you're not hooked up, then this is the red flag. Don't go back to the past. Don't compare with the past. The red flags are the warnings. What you have to improve in this new relationship. Watch out that you don't have the same patterns. That it is somebody that is dressed up in wolf's clothes and that isn't their true self, that isn't transparent, that isn't clear, there is no communication, that is a quiet bird. You need to keep communication going as well. So, make a priority list. The pros and cons. What would you like in a person? How would you like the relationship to be? It might differ. Is this person that you're going to meet or have met uh, might differ to your priority list. But you must know your dreams and goals and then take one of them and then take it step by step. That is how you build a proper foundation for a relationship. Do you want to first get a house, then to get pregnant and then to get married? That's a funny way of doing it. It can be done, but then converse about it. Okay. Well, that's the message. Love yourself. Take care of yourself so you can get into your strength and stay there. Be patient with yourself as well. It's not done in over one night. And learn from the red flags in the past and the present. Keep an focus on what is happening around you. Inner gifts. Look at that beautiful pink crystal cave. There's a lot of love here. Talents you may have overlooked are in the process of being uncovered. Whoa, yes, the strength, the patience, 
the love, standing in your strength, loving yourself, knowing what the red flags are, they might be coming out to, the truth is always coming out to bring clarity. They are often to be found only after you've looked high and low, sifting out the pearls of wisdom from all the disappointments and fears. That's the past. We learn from the past if we are open to it. If we can see it, if we are honest with ourselves and we have an open mind and an open vision. Then in a moment of wonder, as you let out a contented sigh, it has happened. The gift that was always meant for you has appeared. And a new love could be the gift that you had been seeking and dreaming about. Somebody that you didn't think of ever having a relationship with. And if you are hooked up, then possibly because you've changed and you've come back into your power, you see somebody in a different daylight and you didn't expect them to be like that. This is refreshing in friendships and relationships. That's what you that's how you keep it fresh because we grow if we are active in ourselves and with our relationships and everything if we don't forget ourselves and we don't cipher ourselves away it is always exciting to find out what you want how you're going to go about it and watching out for warnings it's this moment a new beginning da 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 there's big changes coming and gifts that you might not have realized that you had are coming out there's big happy changes <laughs> oh gosh I just I didn't even realize that was there no, I just said big changes are coming and then we've got the child perhaps you might find out you're pregnant perhaps you wanted children and now finally boom it is here perhaps you've been trying and you got separated because um, you couldn't get pregnant because you were too stressed and now you're getting back together again a second chance and you're doing something about it you've communicated about having children perhaps they've come back and changed their mind because they love you so much they'll give you anything in this world and they're willing to try for a child even adopt perhaps in some cases you've got the jack of spades the jack of spades is the page of spades the page of swords so this could be official news that the do adoption is going through or the papers are going through um, your official news could be that you're pregnant because it also comes from a specialist or a, a doctor who is a member of the institute and municipalities it's become clear what you like and this could be through telephone this could be through email or text message. Your partner might just say, I love you, I would love to have a child. Boom, there you are, official. It's come through cyber. Or you might be meeting uh, an Aquarius. Don't forget Gemini or Libra. Love it. So, love yourself first, take care of yourself. Um, don't uh, cipher yourself away so be beautiful be strong like the lion the lion oh strength is Leo so you could even be getting involved with a Leo if you're not hooked up so it's a Leo water signs Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces or the Gemini um, Aquarian but don't forget Gemini or Libra Wow if you're not hooked up and if you are hooked up with one of these people then you might get a total different perspective so long you are in your strength and don't sigh for yourself away something will become clear to you I hope you've enjoyed the reading take care be blessed and stay safe please like and subscribe ciao ciao